G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Heart Out. Now another crystal growing video. I hope you don't mind, I'm going to do a little series of these just to have a break from, you know, the acrylic pouring, the resining, the baking, the finger knitting. I like to do a few different things. I get bored very quickly and I like new challenges. So, new powder. Now have a look at this one. Mono ammonium phosphate map. It comes, there's a couple of different names for it. Sometimes it's written ammonium mono. It's also, uh, what is it? Ammonium dihydrate phosphate. Now, the difference between this one, it's a phosphate, and the alum crystals that I used um, for my rose, it was a sulfate. So that was a sulfate, this is a phosphate. And I haven't used this before, it just arrived yesterday. And um, I'm going to try that today. The little crystals look different. They look longer. There's like little long pieces in there. This is the powder. It's, it's a fertilizer, you guys. We're making crystals from fertilizers. All right, so um, I went out to Spotlight yesterday and I bought some glass containers specifically for growing crystals. Now, I only need a little bit. I'm going to grow some seed crystals. That's what we're going to do today. So I want... 200 millilitres so I'm going to go and grab my kettle which is just finished boiling I have a little kitchenette in my studio very lucky girl kitchenette and powder room so I can boil a kettle a little bit more and there's a sink I don't have a microwave in here though <laughs> so That'll do. When you're looking across like that, you go, okay, do I go under the line, on the line, above the line? Oh, I don't know. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. All right, so now that is, it's just boiled, so nice and hot. As soon as we've decanted it into the glass um, jug, the temperature has dropped because the jug was cold. It's, the temperature's dropped, so it's no longer boiling water. So what I'm going to have to do is, I am going to have to go and pop this in my microwave shortly. So 200 mils of water, 90 grams, try not to spill, put it on the scale, 90 grams of MAP, 54, it's not quite half, like it's not 200 mils to 100 grams, it's just not quite half. What did I say? 90. Okay. Ha! I'm up to 95. That's okay. All right. 93. That'll be all right. Three grams will be all right. So I am going to stir, stir, stir. Now, if you've watched any other videos on YouTube, as I have, <laughs> on growing crystals, they say, don't worry about getting your water boiling, just hot and put your solution in and keep adding until you can't add any more, until there's some left on the bottom. So, look, I tried that when I started making crystals. It didn't work for me. The crystals that were on the bottom just attracted more crystals and it wasn't, the crystals weren't forming on the actual item that I wanted them to form on. And like I said, this is no longer boiling water. See, it's, I mean, it's hot, but it's no longer boiling. And um, we've still got crystals. Look at that. Can you see how elongated they are? I think I'm going to get elongated crystals. So anyway, I'm going to keep stirring this, but um, it's it's still cloudy and I can see little crystals on the bottom. And then other people would say, okay, that's good. You know, no more can be dissolved. You need a little bit on the bottom still. Use that. For me, um, I am going to take this into the kitchen and I'm going to microwave it on high for one minute until it's totally dissolved and the liquid is clear so I will be right back right so that is all dissolved now and uh, I'm going to pour it into my little bowl make sure because this is almost boiling you know make sure that you're going to put it into a heat resistant bowl um, you don't want to pour it into just like a, a thin glass and it's going to crack as soon as the hot water touches it, so just be careful. Now the other thing I want to do as well, I am going to just, this, um, this came in a, I'm not sure where I got it, Some something came in it. 
and I thought, oh, I'll keep that. Now, when you're growing crystals, if you can get your water to cool down um, as slowly as possible, you'll get, you'll get better crystal growth. I kind of feel like I need to torch the bubbles. <laughs> ah, this is so weird. So anyway, if you can get your water to cool down slowly, um, you'll get better, stronger, clearer crystals than, um, I feel I need to pop the bubbles, <laughs> than if you just let it sit here with the air conditioner blowing on it, it's gonna crystallize really quickly. Your crystals might grow relatively quickly, but they're not gonna be as strong or as nicely shaped. So, good night. We will see you tomorrow. I'm just gonna do that. If you don't have a polystyrene box, um, before I found this in my studio, <laughs> I wrapped a blanket around it, a little like a little bunny rug. Um, clipped it with some clips and uh, put a cover on it and hopefully it kept it warm. You could use your esky. Um, not, watch, not quite sure what you'd call them if you're not in Australia. We call them an esky. Uh, a cooler, a cooler bag for your drinks when you go out. Insulated, an insulated bag of some kind. Um, I would suggest doing that. So I might have to get myself a bigger one. I think the fruit and, fruit and veg shops actually have them for free. You can just go and get yourself one. So, yeah. All right. So we'll leave that alone until tomorrow and see if we've got some little crystals forming that we can pick out and um, grow, grow from our seed crystals. All right. See you guys tomorrow. Right. Oh, it has been, I think, about eight hours. And... We've got crystals. Kind of been lift. I've lifted up the lid like a couple of times and just shone a torch in. And the first few times there was nothing there, and I was, I was getting really disappointed. I thought, oh my gosh, it's not working. And then um, I just did it again, and there was some things going on. I just put those there just to get like a little crack of air in. I don't know why. I thought maybe let the steam evaporate or something. I don't know. All right, let's have a little look. Uh, and because we've got something in there, we might as well use these. These will be our these will be our seeds so that um, we can grow bigger crystals. There's no point me leaving them in there, you know. I, I want to grow them individually. Otherwise, I think they might just sort of spread and become one big clump, maybe. Now, I'm going to pop that in there. Hopefully, I don't know if that will all stick to the bottom or not. Oh, gosh. Nope, they're, they're loose. So I want to use that solution again you know it's only been in there for eight hours Let's see what we've got it's kind of a bit sludgy in the bottom there I might put it through a just put some cool water in there just to sort of clean them up a little bit so let's move that out of the way and I am going to just tip them onto there and then I can I can rinse that out. It's looking a bit looking a little bit icky. All right. Well, this is exciting, isn't it? Now I need a clean one. <laughs> now that they've been sort of drying off on that, let's have a little look and see what we've got. So I'll, I'll bring the camera up, well, I'll bring this up so they can have a little look. So they've kind of grown in, kind of look a bit like jigsaw puzzles. They've kind of grown together. They're kind of a little bit flat. So that one's a bit raised. So I'm just gonna basically pick one I kind of need to give it a bit of a rub to make sure that it's one crystal and not just, you know, a couple like that. I want to make sure that I've got one instead of like a whole heap because when you rub them together, you might end up with that. So, you, And you don't want to grow that. You want one decent one. So... And I know it, made, it looks a bit as if I'm being a bit harsh on them, but I just want to get one. And, and you, can, you can feel like 
you know, if it's going to crumble or not, if it's just going to be one. And then I'll put those ones aside. And these other ones. I mean, you could still use them. Um, but, you know, they're a bit, bit on the small side. I would rather um, dry them out and kind of send them back to the container when they're dried out. And I've got quite a few seed crystals. I wasn't exactly sure how they were going to grow. They've I thought I was just going to get like one crystal, but they've kind of all joined together. I don't know if you can see them all that well. So um, I think I think that'll be enough. I don't really know what. Oh, that was cool, and it's got like a long pointy bit on it. Mm -mm, I'll try not to break that one. Maybe I'll keep that one. <laughs> um, and that one. Look at that one's got like a long pointy bit too. so cool okay so the other thing I want to do is now this was a mixture of 200 milliliters of water to 90 grams of um, ADP dihydrogen it is I need to go and get my, my notebook I didn't bring my notebook the D is for dihydrin um, and the S is for no what is it Oh, I'm getting all confused now. I'm trying to, because I've got alum in my head and then I've got this one in my head as well. So 200, gram, 200 milliliters of water, 90 grams of um, ADP. And I need to add more because some of it has now come out of the crystals. So I need to basically put this amount of powder back in the water to have it at the same saturation. Does that make sense? Hopefully. So I am just going to weigh these um, and then I will put the same amount of powder back in try and keep these off to the side but fit them on my scale and I'm on ounces mils grams there we go it's basically 20 grams so a tablespoon so I need to put a tablespoon of powder back in there now. Does that all make sense to you? I, look, I'm learning as we go. And because I like recipes, I know, I want to know what works, when, how. <laughs> so I am going to add, I'll just move that over there. I'm going to add a tablespoon in here and then I'm going to reheat it. Okay, I looked up the other name for it. So it's monoammonium phosphate, phosphate, which is MAP, or ammonium dihydrogen phosphate, ADP. So it's either one of those, okay? They're both the same. Very powdery. So let's put in another tablespoon into there. Shall I leave that in there? That can be my chemical tablespoon. <laughs> All right, so now I need to basically take it back into the kitchen. I'm going to need to get myself a microwave for the studio. I'm going to take it into the microwave and I'm going to heat it probably oh, five minutes because I really want it to come back to the boil. So it's really well saturated, really well dissolved. Uh, I'm going to rinse this out and then I'm going to put my crystal back in there. I'm back. I had to go into the kitchen and heat it. It only needed about three minutes, actually, and I looked through the window of the microwave. It was bubbling away, so I thought, great. Uh, so, all dissolved. Now, I have just waited eight hours for my um, ADP to crystallise. So, if I had to pour boiling water over these... They're just going to dissolve. <laughs> they will disintegrate. I'll be back where I started eight hours ago. So what we need to do is we need to get our little container. Make sure if you're using glass, use heat proof. Glass is better only because the crystals won't stick to the sides as much. If you're using a plastic container, um, the crystals tend to stick to the sides. But, I mean, it's not a big deal. If, you, if, if, the, if you've only got plastic, then that's fine. You can, you know, if you're starting... Um, you could use plastic cups, probably not the ones with the little ridges on them. But, um, yeah, obviously you can't pour boiling water into those. But um, I just went to um, 
spotlight and got some. This is one, it's, it's a bowl like, and it had like a lid for it as well. So anyway, I need to go and probably get a few more, but I don't want to spend a lot of money on them. Maybe the dollar store, like vases. You just got to make sure that the opening's not too small and, and then it's wider, you know, at the bottom. Otherwise, you're not gonna, if it grows, you're not going to get it out. Maybe little fish tanks. Um, yeah, get a collection of different sizes. That's what I'm going to do anyway. Keep my eyes open. All right, so that's done. Now, we're just going to leave that. It needs to cool down. I'm just going to put that over the top so a fly or nothing goes in there. And in the meantime, I am going to just pick out which ones I like and pop them in here. I do like that one because it's got that long pointy bit on it. So that'll be my favourite. I'm going to put like, I think I'm going to put three in there just to let them grow a little bit. And then when they're bigger, if, if they work, <laughs> if it works, then I can take them out and put them in other containers. But it's quite, quite a big surface area. And um, yeah, so I feel as if I can probably put a few in there. So I'm going to pick out a few nice looking ones, just three. Wish I could give you some of these. Anyone's, oh look, it's so easy to grow your own though, but I guess if you're buying a mold from me and you want a seed crystal, just pop it in the comments <laughs> if I've got any old. I'll try and send you one, but I don't know how I would even package it. It's so small. All right, so I'm just going to, I've got two there that I like the look of. I will pick another one. That one's pretty interesting. Hard to see, but it's got like different layers. Hopefully they'll all kind of grow out and become a little bit, kind of like quartz or Spiky, uh, I'm not exactly sure what they're going to do. Anyway, those are the three that I'm going to use. And I have to just wait until this water's at room temperature. So, yeah, around about 25 degrees Celsius, and then um, I can drop those in there. Okay. Oh, I'll see you in a, I don't know, I don't know how long it's going to take. An hour? I'll come back and check it then. All right, let's have a little feel of the water so it still feels a bit warm it's a little bit warm but I wouldn't say it's hot like I can feel that it's warmer than my body temperature so I am going to I'm going to do it I can see this starting to get a little bit of crystals forming on the top and there's a few little crystals forming on the bottom which happens as the solution cools so let's just pop these little guys in. My tweezers aren't very wide. <laughs> oh gosh. They're not very good tweezers. I use them for my resin projects. <laughs> but look, there's no reason why you couldn't just pop them in with your fingers. I just thought I'd Look a bit more professional with my tweezers. <laughs> uh, yeah. Never mind. All right. Now we'll space them out. Now the videos that I did watch with doing this, they added a tiny little bit of alum. The um, aluminium potassium sulfate or aluminum potassium sulfate. Alum. And they just basically just did a little a pinch. I don't know if that's a big enough pinch. I don't know about that. Let's just do a little pinch. There we go. Does that look about right? Oh gosh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. They just added, they just added a pinch <laughs> and they said it's very important. So I don't know why. So anyway, that's it. So we'll leave that there undisturbed. Um, do I want to put it back in here? Let's put it back in here and put it away and put it over there. Um, and I'm just going to leave it, close it up like that and put it on the other side of my bench where I'm not going to knock it and we'll look at it tomorrow and see if it's grown anything. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Okay, so it's the next day. And uh, we'll take that off and see what we've got. 
it uh, just looks a bit of a mess in there at the moment, I must say. All right, let me just move these polystyrene out of the way. We'll get a bit of paper towel out so we can see what's going on. Um, I think I'm just going to use my fingers because with tweezers I can't feel if I'm like how much pressure I'm putting on the little guys. It um, it kind of just looks a bit of a mess. I can't see any particular. Oh, ah, it's all stuck. Oh gosh. Okay. I can't I can't really see the three big ones. I can see there, there, and there. I can't really. They don't look like crystals. They just look like this fluffy stuff that just kind of crumbles. So I don't know whether I haven't left it in long enough, maybe. Just get some of this stuff out. And I think that's... <laughs> that was one of them. But again, it's just a mass of tiny little crystals on there so I'm not sure Let's see if I can rinse it a bit I'm not sure what's going on there it hasn't like grown its long spiky crystally things that um, I've seen other people have okay well I'm just gonna leave it there leave it there for now this is the other one it's done the same thing just a mass of little tiny, tiny crystals. Yeah, I don't know why, you guys. Like, <laughs> I've never done this before. I've never done it before. I can kind of see. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> that was my base crystal under there. So it doesn't look as if it's really worked. And I don't know why, that, but yeah, that was my base crystal there. And I can see the other one here. It is sitting there with a, again, snow coverage all over it. And I'll pick that one out as well. And then the rest of it's just this powdery stuff. So, um... I'm going to dissolve all of this. I wonder what would happen if I actually put that back in as, as a whole. Because, I mean, it's really pretty. But, yeah, it hasn't... Maybe it just needs longer. Maybe, yeah. That, I really don't know. I have, I have no idea what I'm doing. If you guys know, feel free to comment below. That is... It's really pretty. And there's, like, a heap of little crystals on there. Maybe I just need to leave it longer. Yeah, maybe. All right, so we've got we've got that one, and we've got that one. So I'm going to, no point keeping you, I'm going to put them to the side very carefully, and I am going to put all that back because I can use that again. I can dissolve that back into my water. I'm thinking maybe I had too much, you know how I put the alum on? I think I put too much in like I probably needed like five grains of it and I put like two big pinches so I'm going to dissolve this I need a jug actually you know I'm not going to use this again I'm going to strain this out um, and just keep the um, ADP crystals because I think the solution has got too much of the element so if I reuse it it's still gonna be in there I can't take it out so I'm going to drain that off in a sieve and uh, keep the crystals but I'm gonna mix up a fresh batch of ADP and uh, yeah we're gonna go for that so I'm gonna just gonna go and boil my kettle okay kettle has boiled so, uh, I think I'm going to do 400 millilitres. We don't need that much. Anyway, let's do 400. 
actually no I don't need that much uh, let's do 300 I still want to waste my powder <laughs> it's expensive All right, I'm just checking under along the side there to see where my my line is All right, it's just above the line now put a bit back so I'm gonna add just a little bit more I'm gonna just to make it easier I'm gonna go half so that was 300 mils so I'm gonna do half so 150 grams of this the ADP let's pop that on there it'll be all right it's it's only like 10 grams difference 15 grams difference something like that it's not going to be a huge amount of difference so let's do I can't, I can't get over the it's got like long pointy crystals in it 150 grams I like recipes I was actually looking at those little crystal clusters there that are formed while my kettle was boiling and they actually look really nice I don't know what I was expecting. I've seen other people that have these long, pointy ones sort of overnight. Um, maybe I just haven't left it long enough. So anyway, here we go. Taking up to 150. That's 140. 150. Okay, so that's it. 152. Never mind. <laughs> All right, put that back on there. Um, and now... While it is in there, I'm going to add some my alum, aluminium potassium sulfate, and that was the ammonium, mono-ammonium phosphate. So, <laughs> I have to write on them so I don't get them confused. Right, so now I'm going to put in the tiniest little bit because I think I did too much last time. Um, let's just take a little bit there. How's that? that? That little bit there? We'll just chuck that in. There we go. <laughs> maybe it won't even make a difference. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's not enough. Oh, I don't know. I heard that the alum crystal makes your crystals smaller, um, but it grows faster. So I don't know. I don't know. But these are really pretty. The more I look at it, the more I think, oh, wow. <gasps> Did that overnight. Okay, so now I have to walk all the way back into the kitchen to use the microwave uh, to bring this back to the boil because it's no longer hot, hot, hot enough to saturate all of this powder. So I am going to do that. And then I need to wait until it's cooled down enough for me to put my little seed crystals back in. So I'm probably going to wait about an hour now this this is something else I want you guys to answer if there's any experts out there what temperature does this water need to get back to for me to put these back in and so that they won't dissolve because I don't want to put them in when it's boiling hot because all my little crystals will just dissolve won't they like sugar in in a hot coffee so how long do I need to wait like just you know so that you can stick your finger in it and it doesn't burn you <laughs> or like how long? You guys let me know. I would appreciate that. Still learning. All right, I'm going to go and microwave this and uh, wait for about an hour till it's cooled down. And then we'll put our seed crystals back in. Okay, so I put that water in here, in, back into its little bowl. I thought maybe it would cool down a little bit faster. So as you can see, it's got like, it's starting to form little crystals and things you know over the top as it's cooling like it still feels I mean I can put my finger in it, it doesn't feel hot hot so this is where I'm not sure what I should do but I'm going to put this back in and hopefully it won't dissolve because I don't think it's hot enough to dissolve I think it have to be boiling to dissolve so let's pop it in I'm only going to put one in this time. I need to get myself some decent tongs. <laughs> Little tongs. All right, so that's it. Um, I'll, I'll keep this one just in case that one doesn't work. I don't want to put too many in there. I'd rather all the crystals attached to that one rather than everywhere else. So 
just before I go, when I did this last time um, and the water had cooled a lot and the crystals had dropped down and they were forming on the bottom, so the other crystals that wanted to come out of the water, they were attaching themselves to the crystals on the bottom rather than onto that main specimen piece. So I'm hoping that doing it this way uh, will, will work better. So I'm also going to cover it and keep it warm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually move it now. You don't want to move it after it started, you know, um, creating crystals, but I'm going to move it now and I'm going to put that over the top of it like that to try and keep the heat in as long as possible um, and let it cool slowly just so that it doesn't create so many crystals that they just fall to the bottom. I want them to create crystals onto that other crystal. So I'm going to do that um, and then I'll, I'll guess I'll see you tomorrow and we'll see what it's going to do. I'll give it a full 24 hours. It has been 24 hours that I've left this. I've just uncovered it, taken the bowl off the top and I can see a crystal in there. A clump of crystals, a cluster, a cluster of crystals. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to get them out. Now, as you can see, there's lots of little crystals formed around the base of this bowl. So what's happening now is all the crystals that are in the solution are basically concentrating growing these other crystals around the base instead of concentrating on growing where they should be on my crystal. So I'm going to see if I can take it out. All these little little ones should all just sort of fall apart. Look at that. I don't want those. I just want this. So I'm going to try and break all this other stuff away from the bottom. Because I just want my, my one big crystal. Like so. And nothing else kind of wants to fall off easily, so I'll leave it like that. So we've got flat on the bottom, and then we're starting to get, I don't know if you can see how well you can see, but we're starting to get crystals forming. It's um, It seems to be slower. To me, um, growing crystals with the ADP seems to be slower than growing crystals with the alum. But um, hopefully they'll be... A different shape and kind of grow into long pointy things like this one's starting to do it We're starting to get some sort of longer more quartzy looking crystals so <clears throat> now this was this was the one that I didn't use I chose the I think I chose the bigger one to use it was slightly bigger but that's that's what it's grown to um, in 24 hours. Oh, has it been 24 hours? Yes, only 24 hours. Oh my gosh. So um, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to pop that there very gently. I'll grow that one in another, another date. So what I want to do is I want to put this solution in here. Don't want to add any of these crystals because like I said, they're sucking the life out of my solution. Naughty, naughty crystals. Um, that, I guess you could regrow that. That looks really pretty. It's, uh, I, I, I could crunch it up if I wanted to, but I might leave it like that. And we can use that again for a seed crystal. There's like any big, big bits. Oh, no, you're broken. Okay. <laughs> There's one. So, and there's one. And the rest of them... I mean, they would make amazing seed crystals, but I don't need them, so I'll let them dry out. Um, I'm just going to pop them on here. I'll let them dry out, and they'll just go back into my container of ADP powder, and um, I can use them again, dissolve them again into another mix. So I'll put them there. I'm going to just rinse this bowl out. Okay, so I just rinsed it out with some... Just cool water and I'm going to pour this back in here. I'm not going to reheat it or add any more powder or anything. I just want to see what happens um, if I just put this little guy back in for another 24 hours. 
and just see what happens like that. Um, and then I'll cover it. There should still be <clears throat> quite a lot of, well, hopefully there should still be solution in the water, um, like the ADP solution in the water. Um, I think it has because it's got like that slight yellow tinge to it. If there was not enough solution left in the water, the water would just dissolve your crystal. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully there's enough in there. Uh, I'll, I'll check on it probably in maybe six, six or eight hours or something like that. And if it doesn't seem to be doing anything, I'll take it out. I'll add some more um, ADP powder, warm it all up, dilute it, all that. Wait for it to cool. Put my crystal back in. But um, I want to see how it goes. Um, I'm just going to leave it sort of uncovered. And as the water evaporates, the solution will become more saturated again. And hopefully the crystals will fall back down onto that big crystal rather than concentrating their efforts on uh, all the crystals around the bottom of the, the container. So, um, yeah, I will see you guys in another 24 hours. Okay, it has been four days. Four days. And my little ADP crystal cluster has grown. I thought they would grow faster, but this is what we've got. So my hands are clean. I'm going to dig in there and get it out. I could, there's a couple of things you could do. If you wanted it bigger, um, it's probably not much of the ADP left in the water. It's kind of all gone to the crystal. If you wanted it bigger, um, just take the crystal out. It's loose in there. Fantastic. Oh, look at that. So if you wanted to make it bigger, uh, reheat your water, add a little bit more, maybe, I don't know, you probably weigh that and say, oh, it's about two tablespoons. So reheat your water, add, actually I'll probably put a little bit more water in because it's evaporated. So just until it, you know, covers that. So a little bit more water, not too much, a couple of tablespoons of ADP powder, um, give it a good stir heat it up make sure it's all dissolved wait till it's cooled down okay don't want to put your crystal back into hot water because it'll just dissolve so don't do that it's like putting sugar into hot water into your hot coffee it just dissolves so cool it back down to water temperature uh, to room temperature you know you can feel it um not, don't let it feel warm on on your finger obviously it's got to be cool um and then pop your crystal back in and then leave it for another i don't know probably another week, I guess, depending on what you want, like how big you want to do it. Um, and what will happen is the water, as it evaporates, the solution will become more saturated with the ADP um, and then more crystals will want to form. So don't sort of change it every day. Uh, just, you can see there's a few tiny little crystals on the bottom. So to me that that's saying that all, pretty much all the ADP that was in the water has gone on to creating this crystal. There's really not much left around there. So um, it would, it, it's probably saying that it needs more, is what I'm trying to say. It needs more powder. So, because there's not much, not much on the bottom. But if you're getting a lot on the bottom, um, then you need to take your crystal out, sieve out all those loose crystals and you know keep them you can put them back into your container um, and then put your crystal back in because um, these little crystals that are on the bottom they are going to draw the the powder out of your water and concentrate on making more crystals and you don't want that you want it concentrating on making your big crystal so if you can get rid of all those little little ones all right enough chatting let's see if we can dry this little crystal off very careful I'm just going to kind of pat it <laughs> I don't want to break anything I really had no idea what to expect I've seen some videos and theirs come out like really spiky and long mine are more kind of square and kind of boxy which yeah I, I don't know I don't know but it's very pretty anyway look at that it's so pretty I should actually give it a actually I'm just going to give it a little rinse in some cold water I had powder all over my fingers from the um, from the water so there's obviously 
quite a lot of ADP still in there because um, I had it, you know, when, it, when my hands dried, I had the um, powder on my hands. So, and it was also kind of coating all my, all my little facets on the crystal. So, I just give it a, a very light rinse with the water and get all that sort of powdery look off. Now, again, if anyone out there is a crystal expert, let me know why my crystals are kind of squarish and others are more sort of pointy. Did I need more alum in my mix? Because I've seen people use a bit of alum powder or maybe, maybe I had too much alum powder. But um, yeah, look, open to suggestions. I'd love to know how you get those long sort of quartz crystals with the points on the end, whereas mine are, yeah, mine are kind of boxy. All right, let's just put that on a little bit of black paper. And uh, see if we can have a better look at it. Maybe I can, it's gonna be a bit difficult for me to show you in a different light. Let's see if I can carry this over without dropping it, hey? carry it over here I'll put it in front of the window and see if we can maybe get a, a little bit more of a better look at it mm, maybe not <laughs> these are hard to photograph oh my gosh difficult to photograph do I need to go outside I'll try that let's go outside Oh, hello. You are the one that was crowing at my kitchen window this morning. He sees me in the kitchen and he says, come and feed me. Feed me, please. Okay. Um, ah. Yeah, well, be quiet, please. I'm videoing. Ah, 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 ah. Excuse me. I've already given you your breakfast. Okay, this is... Um, I'm really not doing a very good job of this. I can't. I can't really pick up the the shine. Not quite sure. But anyway, hopefully you can see the crystals. Try not to drop it. Not quite sure how I would get a better shot for you. Anyway, we'll go back inside. Oh, I'm in the bright light. <laughs> I'm looking past the camera to see what it looks like. Hopefully you can kind of pick up a little bit about, you know, what it's looking like. Really pretty. Okay, so that was ADP. And I will try again because I want those long spiky crystals that other, I've seen other people get. So I will try again. Uh, maybe I need to have a more saturated solution. Not sure. Again, please let me know in the comments. If you have any suggestions, I'm very, very new to crystal growing and I would love any help I can get from some experts out there. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Have a go at growing your own crystals and uh, I'll see you all again for the next video. Okay. Take care, guys. Bye for now.